Hey guys, if you want to take your Madden game to the next level, head on over to patreon.com slash Madden help. You'll receive the best blitzes, schemes, tips, glitches, money plays, and defenses in Madden. This is the best content you're going to find anywhere online for only $5 a month, so head on over to the link and become a patron today. What's up guys, we're back again with the Slant Zone 2 update, one of the most popular defenses all year. Um, there's a new setup to it and the way I've been running it, you can run it to get dual edge, um, send it from the right and send it from the left. To normally get dual edge, what you want to do is baseline, shift your D-line to the left, crash up and QB contain. You see here, we're either going to get a dual edge rush or what's going to happen is the left tackle is going to pick up the um, left screen blitzer and the right of screen blitzer is going to come in free or uh, the line is going to shift to the right and pick up the um, right of screen blitzer and the left of screen um, back is going to come in untouched so sometimes it'll come in untouched with dual edge and sometimes it'll come in with um, with just one blitzer coming in as well then I like to use her, uh, the linebacker that is in the hook that's going to go to the right and just move him back you can actually hover over the center um, if you like you don't have to you see there we don't but uh, you can either hover over the center or in between the B gap and try and make the center or the guard tackle look at you for a split second and have the blitz come in more consistent. Next, to send the pressure off the right edge mainly, what you want to do is baseline, shift your D-line left, crash your D-line up, QB contain, and then you can zone the entire uh, left of screen. Uh, you could put man up the blitz in corner on the left and you could QB spy, um, do whatever you like. You only need these three guys rushing and you're going to get same consistent pressure off of that right edge. So this is a great way of only sending three rushers and we're getting one free against five or even six blocking if the running back is on the opposite side um, of the quarterback. And remember, you want to have your best pass rusher at that right of screen the defensive end at where the Mac is because he's going to get great block shed. And then you could have the other defensive tackle in uh, more of a speed guy if you're going to send the pressure more to the right and um, we see here that we get him in the hook zone across the middle so he needs a little bit of speed to be able to hang in that zone now to send the pressure from the left side the same exact setup except you want to blitz one of these two linebackers um, and then you want to move the uh, one that you're not blitzing out of the way and you can zone up the right of screen side um, the reason that you want mainly want to move out the way is because see how he drops down a little bit uh, what he's going to do is occupy the uh, left guard and the left tackle. Um, you see here that it comes in clean off the edge. If you're sending pressure to the left, I highly recommend that you send four. It's not really that great against uh, a three-man rush because uh, if you do spy or do anything to that right of screen defensive end, um, more than likely it won't come in. It's not as consistent as sending him. What you're going to see in this example is that we're going to spy the right of screen defensive end only sending um, the three and you're going to notice that uh, the whole line is actually going to be able to slide over and pick up the blitz. So that's definitely something that you don't want to do. Definitely always send the four if you're going to send the pressure from the left. But the setup is pretty much the same for everything. Um, send it left again as base line, shift your D-line left, crash your D-line up and blitz one of the inside linebackers and QB contain. So I hope you all enjoyed that video on how to master the slant zone to sending pressure dual edge left side and right. If you did, be sure to leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe to the YouTube channel for more updates and videos. And if you'd like to become a patron for all the best schemes, weekly tips, and updates to the best content in Madden, head on over to the link and become a patron today.